Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. Today, I'm going to be looking at a replay, because I had this game, and it was a lot of, um, I don't know if fun is the right word, but it was a lot of back and forths in here. I was talking about it on Twitter, and this video, as you can see here, as based on this replay, this was a 56 turn game. If you're wondering, what could possibly he be running to make it take 56 turns? Um, it's this. It's Eldritch Pure Floodgate, literally only two Eldritches in the game, three Heavenly Prisons, and then the rest are just like, uh, flood, uh, not a Floodgate, Eldritch card, Floodgate, 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 uh, Counter, uh, Floodgate, uh, <laughs> Trap to search out your other Floodgate, uh, something to search out Ed Lich, and this is not a floodgate, but it is a destruction thing, which then brought him out all these guys. It was a very annoying deck. I'm gonna assume this guy was only able to climb this high because nobody wanted to deal with him. What was I running? I was running, I'm glad you asked, Hip Hippo uh, Token, which was Jackapot 7 and Leech the Light uh, FDK. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna put this on, as you can see here, so yeah, here's how it starts. It starts off very slow. He activates Pot of Extravagance and I go, great, this is Eldlich. He sets four passes. It's my turn, it's time for me to follow up. He's like, well, what is he gonna do? I draw Maxi, I set one card face down, it's Called by the Grave. I say to myself, Eldlich literally loses to Called by the Grave. I've had uh, Eldlich players literally leave the second I Called by the Grave them. I really don't need to pretend to have anything else here. I pass once again. As you can see here, I have the Hippo Carnival and I have uh, Jizuku the Star Destroyer. And I realized eventually what I should have, what I wanted to do was that I could have Sheehan Spy given him Battle Fader, but you're gonna see very soon here, he had Summon Limit. So once I saw Summon Limit, I said, oh, I'm so sure glad I didn't do the Spy Play. And then I did the Spy Play anyway. He hits Tikaboo, so I can only have one. I select the wrong token. I didn't know, I had no idea that Spy was only one, <laughs> it only lasted for a single turn. I got back my token. At this point, I feel defeated. I'm like, well, I've misplayed heavily. Don't know my deck, but thankfully the game keeps going. He has not drawn a single Eldlich. I drew Jackpot 7. I decided not to return it to the deck for the very good reason of, well, if I return it to the deck, it just means I have a chance of drawing it, and it also tells him immediately what I'm running. Um, so I decided to keep it going, but I think later on this guy does figure out that I'm running some kind of FDK He activates Heavenly Lord of the Prisons, and then he activates this guy I go Max C so I can draw a single card. He's running Tikaboo, so he can literally can't play Eldlich and he chooses not to attack my token He probably thinks like and here's one of the big mistakes here at this point I started it start, started like oh, I'm losing whatever I put Battle Fader face down should have never done that He finally draws his Eldlich. He gets called by the grave as is expected and then Yeah he just uh, he decides to go prison. He decides to do prison beatdown. I had no idea that he was just gonna fucking randomly summon prison. If I did, I would have never uh, put down the battle fader. I give him Jizuku, and I said that's enough for now. I really need Tikaboo gone. <laughs> There's nothing more. I have no idea why this guy's like. There you go. He finally starts attacking the token. I activate battle fader. This is around the time I'm like I should have just activated. Whatever. I think uh, I now this is the part where I start to get really frustrated because he activates a third floodgate and I choose machine and I go screw it and I decide to go leech the light and just completely overpower his attack for 33 and I said that's gonna, that's gonna be it. He decides to do, I forget what he ends up doing, then I put Dark Scorpion's face down because I was like I literally don't have anything else to do here. But it's okay, you're gonna see here, as long as this guy has Tikaboo he actively can't play anything. I draw my second jackpot seven, so I decided to just continuously pass turn, and I figured that would be the best bet here. And I was right because he had that, so it really didn't matter if I attacked or not. So I decided to just like not give him the chance of doing anything. He's gonna try and draw his Eldritch. He's doing a bad job at it. Spoilers: This man does not get his another Eldritch for a couple turns here, and even then he chooses not. To, I forget. I think he has to get rid of Tikaboo if he wants to. Um, play it. At this point I realize like this Eldritch is floodgated himself. There's literally nothing he can do. Warlords prevents him from having anything else up here so he can't even summon the the rock he has in his hand. He has a Tikaboo so he can only control one of them. And he has summon limits so he couldn't even summon more if he wanted. Uh, and here I am playing some Dark Scorpion guys. I'm putting cards face down because I'm like well 
I just realized like, there's really no way for him to really do anything against me. So I'm just gonna start setting things face down. Um, I realized that my wing condition now is getting my second my called by the grave and just eliminating his Eldritch, and I think that would be game. Uh, and I feel like that's a pretty good third win con of the deck. This is the, this game. This deck has like two win cons. It's winning by Jackpot Seven, or it's hit winning by Leech the Light. I put another Super Carnival face down because I figure why not. Um, he finally draws his Eldritch. I'm like, damn, that's unfortunate. He's able to play him. He has to get rid of Tikaboo. He has no choice. And this is where I realize. I'm still fine here because he's only going to attack with that, so it's perfectly fine. I do have Creature Swap in the deck. It would be really nice to have Creature Swap when I had that one, but it's whatever. I drew my third Jackpot 7. I put Jackpot 7 face down. The reason is is that I'm pretty positive he's going to... My mind here is that I'm going to make him realize what I'm running and he can destroy because Eldritch... It's very specific what Jackpot 7 says. It says when it's sent to the graveyard. So that means that Eldritch actually triggers it. By an opponent's effect is all I need. So that's what's going to happen here. And because this was my last set and I didn't activate any of my other two sets, the mind game here is that obviously he's going to pick the one that I had just recently set face down. I activate Super Hippo Carnival because I realized like, yo, you can only have one card on the field right now. So I'm just going to have five Hippo tokens. <laughs> and it's going to work out for me. Uh, I draw Harpy's Feather Duster. I'm not going to be using this Feather Duster for a very long time. At the time, I had no idea that he wasn't running it, but I was almost certain he had the Eldritch Counter Trap, and he was just waiting for it. See, there you go. It activates Jackpot 7. Um, I just need him to do it two more times, and then that's when I'm like, okay, you know what? Guess what's going face down now? My other two Jackpot 7s. Let's go. Let's see if he's going to do it again. He activates Eldritch, he gets rid of a Floodgate, doesn't summon Eldritch because he can't. Activates Eldritch, goes for the Hippo token, <laughs> does not want to mess with my back row at all. He's learned his lesson, he's realized his deck is too scary. Uh, I put a Hippo Carnival because now I'm confident in that he will never target the face down area at all. I activate Maxine in case he wants to summon. I think he has to summon it, there you go, yes. So I draw a card, I finally draw my goddamn creature swap. Uh, and I go, I can take 3,500. I only need uh, 3,000 left over to activate the effect of uh, Dark Scorpion. So, here we are. I do this. I activate that. I activate Jackpot 7. I activate that. I activate Future Swap. Hits me with a Gozen match. Does this. He expects me to only have one. I choose that. I hit him with the Feather Duster. I can't actually target the face down because it's a stupid prison, but I knew that. I just wanted to get rid of the floodgate. I figure I win here. Attack this. Activate the effect. He solemn strikes his own card, preventing me from being able, and then he summons Eldritch. And I go, at this point, I went off and said, you know what? Screw it. I lose. I'm going to go eat pancakes. I go to go get some pancakes that my mom had made me. I had to get them before the cats would get to me. Uh, so I pass turn here pretty confident I'm going to lose. And then I come back to the, my screen at this, and I completely miss it about on this, but I notice that I am still alive, and somehow he has not finished me off. And I was like, oh, I guess he couldn't finish me off. He decided not to attack. I said everything in defense. Absolutely crazy. Go here. Now I'm going into my mind, how can I win this again? <laughs> I have my second called by the grave, which is going to be helpful. But the Zelda needs to actually go in the grave for me to be able to activate it. And again, I'm still afraid of that. Um, he has multiple trap cards that are going to be able to return Eldritch. So I have to actually fake out all those as well. Um, I thankfully have Lightning Storm. So I'm like, oh, I'm just going to activate that and then get rid of all of them. Uh, and he ends up keeping to use, keeps on using the Heavenly Prison, which kind of sucks. But I'm like, okay. I actually think in this mind, how many cards does he have left? He has four. I have eight. I can just simply win by decking him out. Here we are, turn 52, going in here. Activate Lightning Storm. He did not activate the King of Heavenly Prisons, so all of them get destroyed. Sacrifice Rich Kiru. End turn. I have Battle Fader. And now I just need a creature swap and I win. Well, I have Leech in the Light. That will wait, may help me win as well, but I'm like, alright, let's go. Pot of Prosperity. Activate. I only have six cards in the deck. 
I'm gonna search all of them, damn it. What do I need here? I should I could have gone for the second leeching the light, but I didn't know what he had face down. So I decided to go for creature swap. In retrospect, I should have probably gone for leeching the light based on what I saw here. Wasn't anything. Actually, I would have lost because he would have used um this. The only reason I didn't win here is because of Pot of Prosperity, which is funny. Um if I had gone for the other plane, he would have rivalry of the Warlords and I would have lost. That would have been basically it for me. But there we go. 10 minutes, full on, crazy replay. This game actually took somewhere around maybe 20 minutes. It was a really long ass duel. And I'd, when I he when he solemned the effect as the Arc Scorpion, I thought I had lost. But yeah. That's all I wanted to show you. It was a crazy ass video. It was a crazy ass fight. It's probably the best fight I've ever had against Edlich, and I actually thought he did some decent plays. I figured that guy probably has never. I really hope that he looked, he took a deep look at himself, and said maybe I should stop playing Flood Floodgate Edlich because this sucked. And it wasn't because of my deck. My deck. He lost to. I can show you the deck right here if you're curious about the deck. It is not a good deck. Let me just set it right now. It actively loses a whole bunch, but it is funny. It is a deck dedicated on Hip Hippo being able to activate Jackpot 7. And if for some reason I, I'm unable to do any of that, I go into Leeching the Light for game. Um, how often does this work out? More than you think. <laughs> More than you think. But there you go. That's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.